What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today. You guys seem to like these Monday previews. So we're going to be doing it and we're going to be taking a look at some of the cars that are going to be coming because there is some nice news and I'm going to be buzzing on Monday lads. We're going to do a very big stream. I'm already going to take the day off work. You know we're going to take the day off work for what's coming. Okay, you're not prepared. But anyway, we do have this new national team selection attackers coming. So it's going to be Simmons, Nunes, Grealish and company. We'll go into all the players here. So we will go into their individual uh, cards and then we'll show you the legends that are coming as well. So Simmons is a very interesting one, right? We'll get to him first. So he's going to be down as uh, an attacking midfielder. And obviously when you're looking at the likes of Simmons here, right? It is going to be interesting whether or not... Um, you know, you use him because a lot of cards are very similar to this now. He is down as a whole player. He's going to be a whole player type card as well with a player ID uh, of that. But they've kind of changed things around that the whole player doesn't really matter as much. It's all very kind of formation and team play style dependent now since they did away with the team play style proficiency. The AI is slightly different. It is slightly different, right? But he's going to have probably around 30 levels, I would say. And that would mean that you'll be able to get all your dribbling stats and your acceleration and balance up near the 90 mark, um, which will be nice for a card like this. I always like Simmons. His, other, his older version of card was really, really nice when we had it um, back with our road to glory. And I definitely think he'll be probably worth a spin if you don't have him because he does have some lovely uh, dribbling animations and stuff like that. But the problem is you've got so many players now that are able to play in that attack and midfielder role. And if you are staying free to play, you do not need to look any further than Pedri as your attack and midfielder. He has everything. Standard card Pedri. We also have Darwin Nunes. And this guy is going to be down as a center forward, obviously, here. And again, you've got balance, acceleration, his balance is not, which are the key stats for center forward, his balance isn't really that high, lads. It's a bit of a pity. He's kind of got the, the same issue as Haaland or even the, the featured Harry Kane that they released um, a couple of days ago on the Thursday. His his card is not that, you know, exciting um, because I do feel like his offensive awareness of finishing, obviously it'll, be, it'll depend on his player levels, but say he has 32 levels or 34 levels, right? You would be able to get his... Um, his balance up only to 82 if you max that out with having 99 acceleration. So I think it is a bit of a bust of a card. Um, obviously, you could have acceleration there with balance at 72 and still be able to have shooting, um, you know, in the 90 zone. But then you're talking about, well, am I going to use him in the air or am I going to use him as kind of a run and gun? So you're kind of caught every way with this card. I don't think it's going to be that meta compared to what was first launched with Nunes' cards towards the start of the eFootball 22. He was a beast. He's got some really, really good um, cards and he was kind of like a budget center forward that you could buy. We also have Jack Grealish, Jack Grealish, very good dribbling. I call him Michael Jackson, lads, on the pitch. He's a beautiful dribbler. On my road to glory, one of my favorite players to use as well. And we will be playing with our road to glory, I think, a good bit going forward. Just trust me on that. Now, we also have Nanto here as well. And this guy is very, very decent. Um, a left winger. Uh, speed, acceleration, and balance. Even at level one here, you've got pretty much everything that you could possibly want. I mean, we're not going to have 49 levels with him. These will be updated. But even if he has 25 levels, man, 26 levels, right? Or even on the lower end of it, right? Say he's 23 levels because he is quite high uh, with his rating. We can actually get his balance and, and acceleration up very, very easily. We can also get his speed up to 90 very, very easily. And then his dribbling is going to go to 90 with pretty much all of those stats at that. Uh, we don't really need passing or shooting because he's going to be a burn and turn um, style winger that kind of like just rips with pace out wide and cuts in and gives it to somebody that can score then, right? So it's a very decent card with 23 levels. Even if we wanted the passing to go up a little bit there, we can get the passing. If we were to go to 27 levels or 28 levels, we could actually get the passing to 75 plus. So it's a very decent card, right? We also have Openda. Um, a lot of young players coming in here. Again, he's kind of in a similar position to Nunes and to uh, Nanto, who we just saw. Remember the Leeds version of this guy that was uh, announced or released a while back? He was a very, very cheap budget option. I think this card will be no different. But this guy as well is in a similar boat, right? As kind of Nunes as well, that his balance is quite high, but his tight possession is quite low. So you are going to have to boost that up to at least 80. And that kind of takes from this card, depending on what uh, his other abilities are going to be. You're going to have to let down, be let down on a couple of uh, things. You're not going to get that. Now, if he does have 20, you know, eight levels or so like that, we might be able to make him like nice with the finishing and also with the dribbling and stuff. It's not a bad card, but we will see. We also have 
Sarlot there as well, who's down as a centre forward. He is not going to be that good, lads, trust me. He's not going to be a great player at all. Physically, he's going to be good, but he's going to be overshadowed on Monday anyway. And then Dan James, again, everything that I just said about Nanto there uh, is going to be applied to Dan James. Just blister and pace and speed. And, you know, you're going to have him in like 99 acceleration and speed with 10 into that or 8 into that with the manager boost. And we also have Shakiri as well. I know a few boys will be happy with that. Now, on to the main attraction, lads, what you're here for. He's coming. King Collar is coming on Monday, lads. As far as we know, he's been loaded up. This is King Collar's card. He is going to be an absolute beast. He's got a starting stat of 90 head and 89 physical contact straight off the rip. Lads, if he has 27 levels, which I think he will, I think he'll definitely have 27, right, with a booster. I reckon he'll get a booster to his finishing, his heading, um, probably his physical contact, and maybe his jump um, or something like that. But even if he just gets the booster to header, lads, that we only need to pop in, because of the manager boost, we're going to be getting a six boost. If we were able to pop in six header, right, and we're also going to get to physical contact, I would probably go there and get, you know, 100 physical contact, 101 header, right? We're also going to be able to have 90 finishing, which we don't even really need for this card. We don't need dribbling. We don't need dexterity. We don't really need lower body, but we're going to pop in eight there um, to get him up to 80 speed. And we're also going to get this up, the offensive awareness, to like 90 or maybe even, yeah, 90 there. And then once we get to that, we're actually going to be able to pop up five or six into his jump, which will give us a card like this. Now, this is only a, a, a base guide with 27 levels on this card. I reckon he'll have more. I don't think any of the big time boosters have had less than 28 levels, if I'm not wrong. Um, or if I'm not right, I'm not too sure. But I feel like Collar could be my main guy going forward. I think he's going to score goals for fun, lads, and we will be spinning and clearing the agent for him. Of course, he's going to be accompanied by Rui Costa. We also have Stojkovic, and we also have Batistuta in this. So a few different players have been uploaded now. Maybe they're going to do a double pack, or else they're going to have four or five in the pack. There might be one or two in the database as well coming Monday. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, for all intents and purposes, it looks like these guys have been loaded up and will be coming. Stojkovic of Batistuta and of course Rui Costa is going to be new. Rui Costa is a very interesting one because he's never featured before not since the older Pez games so yeah all eyes are going to be on Monday. I think the Monday hype is probably like they've really changed the Monday hype because I know a lot of people that used to play football at the start and they would literally play it on a Thursday Friday and then they wouldn't touch it till the following Thursday Friday or Saturday um, because there was no real hype there on the Mondays. I do feel like having these booster players on the Monday it does kind of kick off the week with hype but listen if you're not into cards and stuff this stuff isn't going to excite you you're going to want to wait till the next big huge update that will be coming and i'll have news quite soon so yeah we'll be able to drop that bomb but anyway that is it for me i will talk to you guys in a little bit don't forget to check out the rest of the videos don't forget to subscribe color he's coming he's gonna bang him in for us lads until next time peace